None other than that little tiny island in fragmentation in the far southeast above Indonesia. Do you know the island? Philippines. It's called the Philippines. Yeah. yeah. We have our sisters from the Philippines here. Yeah. And let's pray that Philippines, a small nation but with so many people from all around the world, will continue to bless and propagate the name of Jesus Christ wherever they are. Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Is it still morning? Good morning, yes. Good morning, yes. good morning. Okay. Kamusta ka? Kamusta ka? Okay. So everyone is mabuti. Can I say ticket? Ticket. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know that also. <laughs> I'm very much happy to say ticket. Anyway, um, it's my honor to introduce to you the Philippines. It's, um, you can see the smallest, tiny, but beautiful Philippines. Yeah. I've been here for this stage for a long time, almost every, every Friday, but I feel like I'm shaking today. <laughs> okay, um, Philippines is located in Southeast Asia in the Western Pacific Ocean. Uh, we Filipinos are very known of being hospitable because mainly because of the racist nationalities that tries to to govern us. But praise to the Lord because He freed us from these cultures. As I said, that we are very open country, but of course we are also conservative. Missionaries' words are being welcomed. That influences to Christianity, that leads us to Christianity. As you know, we are mixed because of the Americans who really uh, governed us for a long time and um, lead us for strong affinity for West Western culture as well. Well, Philippines is one of the richest biodiversity in the world. It is an archipelago with 7,107 islands. Wow. There are three major geographical divisions. We have Luzon, where I am and Ate Elizabeth came from. Wow. <laughs> we have Visayas, where Pastor and the church going for missionary for mission, and they're going again for May on May. And we have Mindanao, where Josephine and Marilyn came from. Well, this is the 10th anniversary of Amazing Grace Church and we want to say... Mabuhay! Okay, again, again! One, two, three! Mabuhay! Mga 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 sa pagkatigawang muna ng mga po sa amin. Tuli nga na walang ibang Diyos na katulad mo. Ikaw ang lamang ang namin pupurin at sasambahin. Ikaw ang number one sa aming buhay, Panginoon. Oh, hallelujah. Ikaw lamang ang pupurin ko. Ikaw lamang ang sasambahin.
brought a prize. Really enjoyed, but we did, but I think. <laughs> <laughs> he said it twice too. But anyway, um, the second part of our presentation, we are glad to sing for you a Tagalog song. We've been here, I've been here for like three years ago, and I never sing Tagalog song because I have a doubt, nobody knows my language except Kumusta ka mabuti. <laughs> Well, the lyrics of this song is like a person who has um, a lot of struggles in life and we undergoes with that. But we want to encourage everyone that God is watching us. He will never leave us nor even forsake us. For little pain, for little testing, look unto the Lord because our help is from Him. Amen. We should not, well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you the, the, the meaning of the song. Um, do not lose hope because God is not sleeping. The title of the song is, Is God Asleep? Amen.